There's nothing new about the fact we could get a tsunami. It's just these modeling models are new. Showing how big the inundation will be. Right. With that. Yeah. So where is this fault line, Rich? Well, the one that we talk about the most is the Cascadia subduction zone, which is off the coast out there. That's the big one, the one that produces the nine plus earthquakes potentially. But there's a lot of faulting inside of Puget Sound itself, including the Seattle Fault, which basically runs from out and around Fall City or so, and then it runs westward all the way through uh, the Seattle area across the Alki and then across the, over towards southern Bainbridge Island and ends on the Kitsap Peninsula. That's the one they're looking at. So you get a local one at seven and a half magnitude, which is they say in the report is a high impact, low probability event. There have been over the last oh, 7,000 years or so, actually the last 3,500 years, there's been five magnitude 6.5 earthquakes, which is that's about uh, 10 times less than what a 7.5 earthquake is. So it's uh, considerably less, but those have occurred. There's no periodicity to it like there is at the Cascade subduction zone, which produces a, earth, a large earthquake about every three to 500 years. But uh, the possibility definitely exists there. And they knew that actually when they're building the stadiums, they had to do special reinforcement because the Seattle Fault main portion of it runs right underneath our feet here, which is something to think about.